Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. A Walmart shopper is outraged after a store greeter demanded a receipt check despite her purchase being in plain sight. The angry customer slammed the retail giant in a recent post recounting her experience. Walking out of Walmart exactly like this and the guy stops me to check my receipt, the shopper wrote on X. Because I didn't have a bag. It's F asterisk asterisk king $2 flip flops. I hate Walmart, she concluded. The furious customer shared a picture of how she was holding the $2 sandals in the same hand as her fresh receipt. Receipt checks started picking up when Walmart CEO Doug McMillan said that theft rates were at a historic high for the company, leading them to make adjustments to store policy in coming years. The checks have led to some angry shoppers calling out employees on social media for waiting to confirm their purchases near store exits. Some customers have refused to stop for the checks as they're not legally required to do so, according to legal experts. In most cases, Shoppers aren't required to submit to receipt or bag checks at Walmart and can't be forced to stop at store exits. The only scenario where Walmart staff could detain a shopper is by using a law permissible in certain states called shopkeeper's privilege. Through shopkeeper's privilege, employees can detain a customer if they have had prior suspicion of shoplifting through other behaviors or actions they exhibited for probable cause. The suspicious behaviors could include a shopper sticking an item in their pocket without paying or switching the barcodes on products. In an effort to curtail retail crime, stores are increasingly turning to receipt checks as shoppers exit. Legally, stores can ask to see a customer's receipts, and membership-only stores have the right to demand such checks if shoppers agreed to terms and conditions that authorize it. Many legal professionals have weighed in and come to similar conclusions, caveating that all states do have specific laws. Generally speaking, stores have shopkeepers privilege laws that allow them to detain a person until authorities arrive when they have reasonable suspicion that a crime, like theft, has been committed. Declining to provide a receipt is not a reason in itself for a store to detain a customer, they must have further reason to suspect a shopper of criminal activity. Due to the recent nature of the receipt checks, there is little concrete law on the legality of the practice, as it takes time for law to catch up with technology. Setliff Law, PC claims that there is no definitive case law specifically relating to refusal to produce a receipt for purchases. For stores that improperly use their shopkeeper's privilege, they could face claims of false imprisonment. The primary law that applies to these types of wrongful detention cases is called false imprisonment, explained Hudson Valley local attorney Alex Mainetti. Of course, you're not literally imprisoned, but you're detained by a person who has no lawful authority to detain you and or wrongfully detains a customer. It is likely that as altercations in stores over receipt checks continue, more court cases will occur giving clearer definitions and boundaries to the legality of receipt checks. Under shopkeeper's privilege, the Walmart employee might have thought the aforementioned customer was suspicious for carrying her purchased sandals out of the store without a bag, but it still left the shopper furious with the stop. Another Walmart customer recently took receipt checks into his own hands when a store location only offered self-checkouts. Plus, Walmart's new return policy has gotten stricter as it now requires customers to start in-store purchase returns online.